five seconds. Cue titles on three. Cue music. Welcome to the first episode of uh, John Coombs online, uh, online talking about line, talking about drawing, and, uh, and in fact doing a drawing, um, if, uh, if 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 the pen works, of course. Um, hello to everyone that's uh, that's tuned in, Ravi and Alicia, and uh, and Gareth Jones down in in London. Gareth, who um, has helped me immensely with this, who did um, about 11... 11 Friday night live streams on YouTube uh, from the beginning of lockdown and really sort of wrestled all the problems um, with uh, OBS live streaming and such like and has helped me immensely on this. And uh, uh, so initially the idea came from a good friend, Nino, who's an amazing French flautist. And she invited me into a sort of musical salon on air, on Zoom, uh, again in the midst of the lockdown. And there were some fabulous musicians from Africa and Italy and, and, uh, and France playing guitars and pianos and singing. And I was watching in awe and thought, well, what could I do? I can't do music. I like music. Um, I just don't know how it works. So I thought, well, I could maybe do a drawing. I had a drawing I, I had to finish that day. So I set up my camera that I usually do the, the Zoom chat with and sort of pointed it down and uh, did a drawing whilst they were all playing this fantastic music and things. And it was very well received and it, um, everyone thought it, it was wonderful. And Neon said, I should do uh, a drawing on air, on live. So here I am now, we're going to do a drawing. Um, we're going to do a drawing um, of a pair. So unless you haven't been paying attention, you'll have seen You'll have seen these things I've been drawing. Um, and we're, we're not going to draw just any pair. We're going to draw, um, we're going to draw these pairs, uh, which are currently sitting in front of me. And when you're selecting fruit, obviously you want fruit to look like fruit. Um, and also you need it to stand up. I got about 12 pairs. Only about four of them stood up and one of those was a bit manky. And I put a piece of white paper behind that helps um, so you can because there's so many wires and bits and bats of gubbins here it would be difficult to work out what was pear and what wasn't pear uh, so without further ado we could start here which is that desperate um, desperate item the blank piece of paper it's for artists and for writers alike I know uh, Martin Riley knows about this we've talked a lot about the blank piece of paper the terrifying blank piece of paper make a mark on me if you dare um, and that, it goes as well for buying sketchbooks don't buy really expensive sketchbooks um, and don't start on page one of a sketchbook you know, the, the, the pressure, if you buy an expensive sketchbook, or you get, I got one, I got a beautiful sketchbook for Christmas once, a big one. And it took me over a year to pluck up courage to actually make a mark in it. The paper was thick and gorgeous, uh, and it's really, really daunting. So don't start on page one, start a couple of pages in. And if you're going to buy a sketchbook, buy six sketchbooks and draw in the middle one. That's the way I do it anyway. So let's see um, what we can do. Uh, people have said it'd be a good idea to have some music, so we'll have a little bit of music. Um, Phil, if you're watching in Scotland, uh, yours, you, we might not get, you, get to your bit, depends how quickly I do the drawing, but the first bit is by the amazing Ian Sanderson, who's uh, allowed me to use a piece of his music. Um, so let's see if that works or not. And we'll start drawing the pairs.
And I will talk a little bit while we're drawing the pears. If you're doing this with fruit, always get fruit that's got a stalk on it. Uh, like an apple with a stalk and two leaves. It makes a break from the monotony of uh, just drawing the, drawing the fruit. Oranges are terrible because they're just round. time getting the position of everything thinking about the negative space as well as the positive space but I have to say um, I, if I could remember what it was I was going to say drawing here is difficult. I've, I've had to light this place um, so that you can see what I'm drawing. Um, but that means the lighting on the pears is really, really um, coming at it from all sides. So there's no sort of, there are no dark shadows. Um, again, if you're going to do a drawing, think about the lighting. Think about putting in light from one side so you get, get some good shadows. Anyway, um, back to the drawing. Um, and If you are there, if you have joined in, um, if you have come, if you have joined in, if you have logged in, signed on, whatever, uh, do leave a comment so I, I know that you're uh, that you're here. I can say hello. Um, we've just about got the shape sorted out now, um, which is that we start to put some of. No, I beg your pardon. We, yes, the shape, the shape, um, and uh, we're starting to put. I'm, I'm starting weird. Yeah, Gareth told me off about that. Sorry, Gareth. Um, I'm putting in 
some of the form now, uh, which is the old cross hatching uh, that we're all very popular with. Um, oh, wrong one. There we go, sorry. There we go. And uh, yes, uh, now, um, next piece of music comes from uh, Phil in Scotland. Thank you very much uh, for this piece that he sent down today. Um, let's get on with some of the drawing. What's going on here? What? Right, well, um, listen, I obviously need, um, oh, hello, no, we've started, uh, <laughs> we've started in again. I obviously need more music, more music, guys. Send me your music, send me your music to draw by. Um, and, uh, well, that, well, why not, that's just, ooh, wrong one. I've got comments here. Um, hello, hello, Phil. Yeah, thank you for your music there. Hello, Monty. Um, and, uh, and everyone, good, good. Um, and Daphne is there. I can't seem to get all the comments up here. I don't know why. Uh, something. Um, no, I can't seem to get all the comments there. Um, there's uh, Astra Blaze. Astra Blaze, hello. I've noticed you on my Instagram feed. Hope you're well this evening. Um, uh, welcome, welcome to this. John Me from, from Leeds. Gareth from your Gareth Pedrick, who I haven't seen for ages. Hi. Um, Greg, Greg Walker. Um, hello, sir. Uh, thank you for watching and helping out. And uh, Tim, uh, Tim near Halifax, um, the sound man, um, uh, masterful. I uh, hope the sound's all right, Tim. I hope it's working, working okay. And Daphne. Um, is uh, is watching as well i believe let's um let's play um ian's piece again because it's, uh, it's it's wonderful and we'll do we'll do a little bit more a little bit more of the drawing say Gareth I can't find your comment here for some reason but you know all about that Gareth you know all about these little ditches this this other this pair here this pair here really oh, it's, oh I see yes it's all so well lit it's hard to I'm actually not going to make it up but I've got to really, really look hard. Look hard though, that's the clue. Um, look, look hard. Um, just pause, just uh, pause you there for a moment, Ian, thank you. Um, look, look hard, look. We can't see, we're all, we all, we go around, we recognize everything. 
we don't see. That's why you can't find your car keys. And they're nine, um, nine inches away from where you thought they were. We just recognise everything. If you think about a camera with, um, I don't know, we've got you know, 2.5 million pixels in there. Um, well, each eye has got all these rods and cones, 250 million pixels, if you like, in each eye. We've got two of them, four of them, two of them, two eyes. So your brain actually can't process that amount of information coming in. Uh, so what it does is it, 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 it will very cleverly, a bit like, a bit like JPEG, algorithm does, if you know the JPEG algorithm, which I'm sure you all do. I, I, I'll leave the JPEG algorithm for another time. But so your brain gets all this information coming in, far too much to process. So if it recognizes any of it, it just goes, oh, that's one of those. Even if what you're seeing is that, it goes, oh, I see, it's one of those. So if it's a bus, um, just a minute, my, my runners are bringing in the comments here. Um, oh, we want to, we want, <laughs> Yeah, Gareth was singing along to the music. Wonderful. Thank you, Gareth. Um, so what was that? Yes, yeah, so we just recognise everything. And um, your brain just sort of automatically switches to things that you recognise. Which is why you can't draw somebody's portrait when most of the time you can't draw somebody's portrait. Um, and why, though, as I mentioned in the, in the, um, the test piece for this, uh, when you cross the road and avoid getting run over by a double-decker bus, you can't draw the bus when you get to the other side because you're so scared. No, because actually you haven't seen it. All you've done is recognise it's a big red thing that will kill you. You haven't seen that bus. So to draw something, you've got to try and twist your brain out of the recognition phase and train your eyes to look and then to see what's there. Not just recognise, oh, that's a pear. Pears are pear-shaped. Boom, there we go. But what's this pear look like? What, how actually is that curve? What happens here? Where are the dark patches? Where are the light patches? When I do, tra when I do workshops in drawing, um, sneaking up on drawing, I get people to draw upside down. I get people to draw with their other hand. Lots of things, not them upside down, the object is upside down. Anything to disturb what you're looking at to try and stop you recognising the pair and to make you look and see the pair. Back to the pair. And there it is. brain is a very complicated and tricky thing. It fools you into all sorts of complicated ideas. Then you've got the shadow, so this pair is casting a bit of a shadow on, on this pair. That'll help give it a sense of depth. The lines that come in front can be heavier than the lines that go behind.
And not only have I drawn pears, another such fruit, um, but I've also um, I've also painted pears. Um, and here's a pair, some pears I painted a long, long time ago. These uh, were painted, whoa, I don't know, I don't know, this is acrylic on canvas. I haven't got a big enough studio to start using oil paint. Oil paint you need a lot of space for. Um, and uh, oil paint, oil paint is all over the place and it doesn't dry very quickly. You need to leave pictures up um, for a long time uh, to dry between the layers. Um, acrylic paint you can it dries very quickly and is is um, is great for that but difficult to manipulate you can't do that many um, on canvas mixing layers transparency that sort of thing but that was um, that was some pairs that I did uh, this is then I moved into oils this is a these are red Williams not bad as the name suggests um, these are quite small they're about um, 200 millimeters high, 290 wide, about about 300, about a foot wide, um, and then here they are, the uh, the green pairs, the conference pairs. Um, spend a long time. I, I, one of my uh, great uh, I admire one of the painters I admire greatly, the late Ewan Uglow. Um, spent a long time with his with his painting so much so that the fruit actually rotted um, while he was painting it um, and long time plotting all the points within the pears the fruit the model the life model the figure getting every plane every nuance every color balanced across beautiful stuff look at the work of, of Yuan Uglo um, if uh, if you want to have a treat if you're interested in that sort of thing uh, back to the pears we're nearly there Fine. They pairs. They sort of, when they arrive, they're very, very hard, and they're like wood. You can't get into them. And then suddenly, boom! They're like liquid in the bottom of the fruit bowl. Uh, but uh, right, a bit of shaping around that. Phil, Phil, up in Scotland. I realise uh, uh, you're not on the end roll on the credits tonight. Ah, sorry. Um, yeah, sorry, Phil. Fabulous, the fabulous guitarist called called Phil. Uh, uh, I can't pronounce your second name. McLechlin. Um Worked with him years ago in France, um, and subsequently, uh, since then, uh, over Facebook, become friends. I did some graphic design for them recently. Uh, wonderful musician. They've been doing a lot of live music over on the, the Isolation Chamber on Facebook, if you want to come across that. Some wonderful musicians working up there. Um, and I'm sorry, Phil, I didn't get your name on the end roller, but um, thank you very much for the song. We'll put your name up there next week, if there is a next week. Um, let's go back to the drawing. Nearly there, I think. Right, are we there, do you think? Well, I think uh, as the music finishes, um, that's the pairs for today. Um, thank you very much.
And what do I draw next week? Please write your uh, answers in the comments as, as to what I should draw next week. Uh, if at all, if anything, uh, should I be on next week? Should we do another one of these? Um, we could have, we, well, uh, look, oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> oh, how wonderful. Uh, my, uh, wonder, well, uh, children have just done, can't get everything working here. Um, <laughs> stop trying to brush your head. I've just done some drawing of pears for me. Um, and for you, in fact. There they are. That's better, isn't it? God, I'm trying to move things around. Um, much better, in colour, much better than mine were. Um, so thank you very much for those. So uh, that's it for today, um, for this evening. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, we'll uh, see you again at the same time next week, I hope. Okay, bye.